amazed whose story I'll be telling you later. Princess Elizabeth was also brought up these steps, as were high dignitaries of the church, Bishops Cranmer, Latimer and Wrigley. In fact, during the reign of Queen Mary Tudor, over 300 men of the church were brought through these gates before later being taken to Oxford, where they were then burned at the stake for heresy. <laughs> now those and many more poor unfortunate souls will have travelled from Westminster along the River Thames through these gates, where they'd be met then by the yeoman jailer and an escort of yeoman warders before being escorted through the bloody tower archway there to await their fate. Behind you then is the Wakefield Tower, named after William de Wakefield, and he was the King's Clerk to Edward III. It was originally known as the Blunderville Tower, in honour of a former constable of the tower. It's also been used for many things as a records tower, audience chamber, more recently for the research and storage of official papers. The top floor there, that is also where the crown jewels were displayed up until about 1967. And then after the Battle of Wakefield, during the War of the Roses, hundreds of Yorkist prisoners, they were crammed into the lower dungeon and starved to death. By tradition, King Henry VI, he is reported to be murdered upstairs in the Wakefield Tower on the 21st of May, 1471. <laughs> now, he was stabbed to death in the back whilst at prayer. Henry VI is also remembered as being the founder of Eton College and King's College, Cambridge. So each year, on the anniversary of his death, white lilies for Eton and white roses for Cambridge, they're tied in the ribbons of the college colours and they're placed in there on the spot where he's reputed to have died. So if you've not been in the medieval palace yet, up the steps, through the arch there, over St Thomas's Arch, over that bit large, and inside there you'll see a small chapel, vestry type area. On the floor there's a white square with a date on it. Hopefully they got the same one as I did. <laughs> Behind the deck is the infamous bloody tower. Now that's originally known as the Garden Tower, because it overlooked the Lieutenant's Garden. It was then renamed the Tower of Blood, or Bloody Tower, during the reign of Queen Elizabeth I. Now that was to commemorate many tragedies that occurred within. Surely the most tragic must be the alleged murders of the two boy princes in 1483. King Edward V and his younger brother, Richard Duke of York, aged 12 and 9, respectively. <laughs> <laughs> they were smothered to death upstairs in the bloody tower whilst under protection of their uncle, Richard, Duke of Gloucester. Their tiny bodies were then placed under a pile of stones at the base of the Wakefield Tower, where they remained until a priest found them. He then buried them in the south side of the White Tower, where they remained for 191 years. And it wasn't until workmen, during the reign of King Charles II in 1674, discovered a chest. Experts of the day declared they were the bones of the missing princes, so in order of the king, they were taken to Westminster Abbey, where they were reinterned in Innocent's Corner, where they still remain to this day. Also, the famous navigator Sir Walter Raleigh, he spent 13 years of his life confined to the Bloody Tower. And if you think that was bad enough, 13 years confined to the Bloody Tower with his wife oh. <laughs> and, and, child, and child, just to mix it up a bit. <laughs> During that time, though, he compiled his book, The History of the World. Still got that first edition stored here in the grounds. And it was King James I. He was responsible for Raleigh's eventual execution and also detested the new habit that Raleigh had brought over from the other side of the Atlantic. Smoking. Not potatoes. Smoking. Tobacco, that's right. Oh, yeah. Do you remember earlier on the Bible when I told you about the drop gate? Here at the Bloody Tower, got a much larger one. So this one weighs about two and a half tons, over 800 years old, but that one there is in full working order. Uh -oh. Yeah. So heavy, 